today we're on the Central Coast. We're in San Luis Obispo enjoying the beautiful weather. We're at C.L. Smith Elementary School and today we're here to... Well, today we're at C.L. Smith Elementary School in San Luis Obispo, and we've got fifth grader Hunter with us this afternoon. Hunter, how are you? Good. All right, let's turn around, and we're going to do a little bit of what you've been working on in class, perimeter and area. All right? So I'm going to draw something up here. Let's draw this rectangle. And why don't you give me some numbers? Give me a number between 2 and 9. 6. All right, so we'll make this 6. And how about a number between... 7 and 20. 15. All right, we'll make this 15. Now, would you like to work in feet, inches, meters, miles? What would you like? Doesn't matter. <laughs> so you pick one. Inches. All right. So we'll go 6 inches by 15 inches. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to figure out what the perimeter is and what the area is. Now, before we do that, can you explain a little bit about the difference between perimeter and area? Well, the perimeter is around the outside, and the area is all that's in the inside of the rectangle. Perfect. So what would you like to do first, the perimeter or the area? Area. Area. All right. How do you figure out the area? How do we know how much area is in there? Well, what I like to start with is something I already know. So I know that 15 times 2 is 30. And I know that um, 6 is 2 times 3. Okay. So I can tell that it's 3 times 30 from Perfect. those two problems. Nicely done. And 3 times 30 is 90 because 3 times 6 is 9. And then you add the 0 from the tens place. So the answer is 90. 90 what? Inches. Is that all? <laughs> because you're doing area, right? So you multiply the length times the width, okay? If I had 90 inches, and I had 90 inches squared, you know the difference between those two? Well, I made them all squared. Oh, 90 inches squared. Well, let's put the two over here on the end of the inches right there. So you've got it correct. So we'll just write the label up there. All right. Well, now, 90 inches squared and just regular 90 inches is when it's wrapped up and it's in a square or all together. But if it's not squared, it's just one big line of 90 inches. Right, so if we were doing the perimeter, right? Okay, so when we are doing the area of this figure, when we do length times width, it's 90 inches squared. Because if we had little inch cubes, right? It would be in a square. There would be 90 of them, right? So it would be area is squared. Okay? Yeah. So next to area, why don't you go ahead and write down the final answer? 90 inches squared. And now we need to do the perimeter. So how would you like to figure out the perimeter? Um, well, since I know that the perimeter is, this goes up here also. Okay. And this goes over here. Very nice. And then you just add them all up. I start with 15 times 15, because I already know that is 30. And then six plus six is 12. So 30 plus 12 is 42. Good. So the perimeter is? 42. 42 what? Inches. Is it 42 inches squared? No. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. You're sure? OK, yeah, I just wanted you to be sure of what you were doing there. So 42 inches. And have you ever seen formulas for figuring out perimeter and area? No. If we did length times width. Isn't that what you did here? Length times width? And what did that give us? 90 inches squared. That gave us the area, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, so length times width would be the area. 
What kind of, do you think you could come up with a formula so that we could figure out how to do the perimeter? Because what did we do? What did you do to figure out the perimeter? Um, I did. Well, since I know that for that, it would just be this goes on this side, and that goes down to here. And the operation you did was what? What did you do? Add, subtract, multiply, divide? Um, I added because for the perimeter, it's adding. For the area, it's times. Or I don't remember. Well, you did the length plus the width, right? Yeah. And then you did length and width again, right? Yeah. So if we did length plus width and we did it two times, can you think of a way to represent this two times? Well, 5 plus 6 is 11. And then add 10 to that, it's 21. So 21 plus 21 is 42. Good. Nice way of doing it right there. OK? So we go length times width, or length plus width is 21. We could also take that and multiply it by 2. And that way, you would get your perimeter. Hunter, perimeter and area, nicely done. Way to go, dude.